Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'd like to welcome you. Uh, what I wanted to share with you is actually this is the second time I'm doing this video. Um, I was having some sort of technical difficulties yesterday in both the videos I did. First one got cut off with the paper pumpkin and well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I'm back. And um, while I don't have the full project to share with you, I'm going to show you and tell you how to assemble it. Now, many of you know I did a um, video before using this uh, You Move Me or Move Me bundle by Stampin' Up. And um, you'll want to go ahead and check my um, previous videos. You'll, you'll find it in there. And it actually demonstrates on that video, can't get this out, um, how to make these fun cards with the um, butterfly. I want to make sure I'm in the camera this time. Yep, with the butterfly that moves. I'll try to do it slow so you can see the movement of the butterfly. And this is part of a bundle by Stampin' Up! And here is the hummingbird. Look at, he just looks like he is in flight. Right off the page. And back down again. <clears throat> Actually, I think you could kind of go side to side too and you could see him move. So this is so much fun to create these cards. But as many of you know, I like to use the Stampin' Up! products and do more with it. I mean, okay, once you've created this and that, I mean, there's other designs in here to stamp with. There's beautiful flowers and like the flowers that the hummingbirds like and other butterflies and things like that but um, I want to do something else that's different so um, I was carousing one of my favorite places to carouse and I'm sure yours as well Pinterest and I saw an idea on there and I thought now nope, why didn't I think of that you ever have those days I mean I think I have them all the time but anyhow once I see it I'm like well like duh you know <laughs> Like some people are just so creative and some people like me are just so great at casing, which is copying and sharing everything, which is what I'm doing here for you today. So um, I wanted to use this um, kind of um, vent like die cut in another way. And when I saw this idea, I thought, oh, that's right what I was looking for. So uh, let me share with you. Now, this isn't the exact card that I saw. But this is using that vent piece to make it look like it's a window blind. Can you see that? Is that like not cool or what? So it's like we're peeking in on her from the street, which probably isn't very nice. But in a card, we can do that. This background, how fun is this? This was actually done using this new um, embossing paste that we have by Stampin' Up. And we have these really fun... Um, decorative masks that you can create all sorts of fun things with with this this um it's it's a paste my strength in my hands today really stinks oh my top is stuck you hate when your top gets stuck and um it's it kind of reminds me of a little bit like a spackle kind of thing so anyhow back to why we're here which that happens to me a lot if you don't know that um this fun card the background was done and it actually feels just like brick so if you want to pretend that you're a mason for a day or two go ahead and do that and this little window was done with another framelit that we have which is called heart hearth and home and this is basically what it is it's a window with kind of like a flower box or you can use it as a molding type thing and you do have to have the big shot, which it's hard for me to believe this day and time that not everyone out there does own the big shot. I mean, you can create this in a lot harder and longer way, but folks, come on, invest in the big shot. You'll be able to do these fun cards with it. You'll need it. You need it. And if you want to get one for free, you can choose to purchase the kit and get a big shot for free. Well, not really free. The kit is $99, but you get $125 worth of product of your choice. One of them being the Big Shot. 
Then you'll get 20% off discount on air all of your future purchases, plus all the other benefits that goes along with being a part of the Stampin' Up! family. So it's a no-lose situation. Anyhow, I'm off on my ranting again. So yeah, how fun is this card? So that's what I did to create the window. And I used that new wood design designer series paper stack that we have to make it look authentic like wood. So we're on the street and we're peeking in at this beautiful U, which is the stamp set that I used to create this lovely woman. Here she is in pink, if you like pink. But I wanted to go with this fun green color. So then I thought, okay, well, that's nice. Now, I want to do my spin on it. So here was my idea. My idea was to make a card, same concept as this, but I love the beach and I don't always get to the beach. So I can literally, like I'm inside the house now, looking out my window at a beautiful beach scene. Can you see that lighthouse in there? So that was my take on it. And you're basically just layering all this on top of one another. Now what I did do is I did use our, um, our strips that we have for dimensionalizing. And I did raise that up to kind of give it the 3D look. So that make it a little further away from the paper. So then, okay, I thought, well, now that's fun. So how can I do something else with it? Now you're ready for this. Are you sitting down? Okay, this is my idea. Here I am inside my hotel room. And now this time, instead of the horizontal blinds, I have vertical blinds and I moved my window around that way. So this is the lovely wallpaper in my hotel room. I am looking out my window and I am seeing lighthouse. And how about this saying that this is, this lighthouse was done creating, created using the high tide stamp set. I love this. It's a two step stamp set. It's beautiful. It's photopolymer. And how about this saying, let hope be your lighthouse beckoning through stormy seas. And can't we all relate to that? I even decorated the inside of this with some other stamps on here. And then I can send this to whomever I want. Again, using that paper, you could see the different types of wood grain that that paper has in it. So those are my ideas using... Well, the first one wasn't. That was a copy and, and share one. Using the You Move Me bundle, which is something, I mean, you need to add this to your, your stamp set um, collection. <laughs> so here's actually um, a little demonstration as to how it was done. So I cut this out with the big shot. And then in order for it to fit into this frame window, and you could see the double-sided, I'm kind of like an oak girl myself, so I think I'm going to go ahead with the oak side. You just have to trim off a little bit because it's actually too big for your window. So you just trim off a bit and do your layering that way and put your window box here. But when I was prepping for this to share with you, I thought, I mean, you could turn your window this way. There's nothing saying you can't. Put this at the bottom and look at that. You have a whole new look on your window with, again, vertical blinds. Go horizontal, go vertical, whatever it is you like. I mean, I am just loving this and I am just taking off on this fun idea and I hope you enjoy it as well. I hope you um, go ahead and get yourself this fun You Move Me bundle and give it a try. See what you come up with. I mean, you could use any of your stamps with this window type technique. You could even make yourself some little um, decorative curtains on there using some of our designer series paper. I mean, you can really take this to many other areas. So I wanted to redo the video. I'm sorry and I apologize that I'm not actually doing this step by step with you. But if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with your friends. I'm trying to get out there. I'm trying to work toward, toward my 1000 subscribers. I'm a little over halfway there, so I think we can do this. So be, be sure to share, like, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, shoot me an email, send me a text message, do whatever it is you want. If you have any questions on this, I'm here to help you out with that. And I look forward to sharing many, many more videos with you. 
Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you have a super stampin' night, and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.